think they like this pink mix in here. You can now see the beauty of dumping the lead. This is when the dumper lead clip really comes into its own. It's really quite weedy out there. We're fishing into more weedier spots, getting the fish confidently feeding on the bait, and they're responding accordingly. But to get those fish in, getting rid of that lead is really important. You can see the fish out there now. He's on the surface. It's come up. Even the coots want to get in on the picture. We're at Suffolk Water Park in the flagpole swim. The weather conditions have been kind to us. They've uh, actually, the wind's changed direction from a northerly, which was blowing most of the week, come round to a southwesterly. We've got a waspy carp on here, he's fed up, look. He is fed up. He now realises he should have gone to the calf. certainly do pull in here, there's no doubt about it, look at that. He's not a happy carp. You won't be happy with a size 4 Grenville claw stuck in your head either. Might be a good fish. Never can tell with these things in here. They're, you know, good mid 20s, they give a good account of themselves. At the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Doesn't matter if they're big. Well, sometimes it does. <laughs> you like to reuse them. <laughs> if it works, why change it? <laughs> My life already. <laughs> He's slowing down a bit now. Let me make a liar out of me in a minute. There you go. I think he's just seen you, Ash. <laughs> Oh, it just makes so much difference, Ash. You know, well, you know, I mean, you know, the amount of fish that we've caught on them now. Each time the lead's gone. I mean, different if you're fishing the water with, you know, loads of fish, you're getting loads of runs, but, you know, on, on lakes like this that are pressured where you don't get that many takes, you know, who cares about losing a lead? I know it's easy for us to say we, you know, we manufacture them, but at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're spending all this money going fishing, you know, it's much better to get the fish in. It's better for the fish, obviously, as well, you know, the fish safety. That's quite 
weedy down there. Just give him a bit of the right arm, I think. <laughs> Not a big fish, but a strong fish. It's definitely you, Ash. They certainly got some power. Well, well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Let's say, for a day ticket venue, the fish are in good order. We're carp anglers. Well done, mate. What I've just done, um, I don't like to try and fiddle about, just uh, try to take hooks out with a fish in the, in the net. Uh, you can end up tearing the mouths, you know, the, the, the rig gets caught up in the, in the mesh. So what I normally do, I just cut the uh, rig off, and then just tie a loop in your line, simple overhand knot, just stops the tubing sliding off which we all know can be a bit of a pain to uh, put on. Although I've been using this new cord of tubing um, lately and it does uh, thread on quite well. So uh, as you can see, I only use quite a little short length of it uh, with the fluorocarbon. All I'm doing with the tubing is trying to stop it, uh, the rig tangling. I nearly always use a pair of pliers, fiddling about trying to get inside the fish's mouth with a finger or whatever. If you just get hold of the hook, you get hold of it firmly, one movement and it's out. You're not trying to fiddle about, push the hook in, maybe doing the fish damage. Anything that we can do to alleviate any tearing or problems, to my mind is good. Just take your time with pictures, just don't rush it. Make sure all the fins are tucked in. You see people trying to struggle with fish, just take your time with them. What we come for? Lovely. Nice 30 pound Suffolk water park car. Let's get in there. Rig was a Rigmarole hook link, size four Grenville claw. The new skimful from Rigmarole, I'll just put that down, it's getting heavy. Uh, with a 18 mil pink mix pop up, uh, fished over probably about six or seven handfuls of uh, 22 actually uh, diameter uh, pink mix boilies.